Hi guys, in today's video, we're replacing the front springs on the Acti. They're quite worn, you get a lot of um, bottoming out, a lot of whams as you're driving in the truck, and I really don't like that feeling, it feels bad. So we're hoping to render that today with some brand new springs. I think they're 275 pounds, I'll put all the links in the description below. This is definitely one of the most intimidating jobs I've done to date. I'm a mechanic by no stretch of the imagination. Uh, I really just started working on cars this year, specifically on my Acti, because I've never really cared about a vehicle before like I care about this truck. So I want to fix it up, I want to make it nice, so that's what I'm trying to do. So follow along with the journey. If you'd like, you can check out all the other videos I've made. But anyway, let's get started. So now we'll release the jack. We got a 14 millimeter bolt here that needs to be removed, a real long one. And then the brake line, 12 millimeter here. And um, this will detach and get out of our way. Then we've got three tens in the cab. We have to unscrew three nuts. And then this will come free. The strut um, will come free and we should be able to remove it. These are 12s, by the way. I just put mine in this compartment, that way I don't lose track of them. This is a HA4 SDX. I didn't realize there were so many different versions of Acti. But what, there's the Town, the SDX, the Attack. Yeah, I had no idea. I'm uh, slowly but surely learning all about the Acti life. I'm uh, in the Honda Acti Enthusiast Facebook group and I'm learning a lot there, so I really appreciate that group a lot. I also recently learned about um, 500 yen shop, which I had no idea. So I've been ordering all my parts on eBay and um, they can be a little overpriced on eBay, but um, I don't know, I'll have to do the math to actually see, because, like I said, I ordered my stuff from 500 yen. I did get parts that were a lot cheaper than what they're listed for on eBay, but typically the eBay listings include free shipping. Now, 500 yen obviously is not, and um, I believe I paid around 80 USD for shipping, um, and we're going to see the size of that box if 80 is fair, I don't know, but that's kind of a lot. But anyway, we got our full four bolts out now, so... Let's remove this seat. So, here we are. We got our three nuts, yeah? One, two, three. Everything in the cab will be 12. I don't know why I thought 10. I'm mis misremembering. Anyways, we're just gonna crack these a little because we want to make sure we can grab a hold of the strut and uh, not let it go all loosey-goosey on us. 
So I'm loosening the nuts up top and I'm gonna hold on to the strut. Get them out like that. There we go. Okay, the strut is out. Sweet. Okay, now I believe what we need is to stick an Allen in there and unscrew this nut like at the same time type of deal. We'll figure that out. It's a 17 mil, by the way. I thought it was 19. It's not 17. Anyway, here we go. Okay, now this can slide down. And there you go. Now we're tightening. Okay. That looks like we're getting there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. So now we've got it to a point where it is starting to compress. I do think I want to kind of put these compressors like on the same rings. Like I think right there looks good. So... So we have the springs compressed. A little scary to tell you the truth, but I think it should be okay. I'm gonna try not to mess with it too much. Um, but now we need to try and get this top hat off. Um, so what is that, a 5.5 .5 Allen? So perhaps, we might be able to stick something in there so that it won't move on us and then take our vice grips and um, start turning it. Hey. Oh, we did it guys, okay. Now, I need to be very careful taking this off so I can remember how to put it back on. Take our Allen out. There's our nut. Top hat comes off. We got this washers on next. So we will lay that face down so it goes back on the way it should. Next. Okay, lay that down. Yay. Oh, and then this guy comes out. Yeah. Ooh. Okay. So next, we should be able to just pull the strut out, I think. Yay! Ooh, we did it, guys. Okay, so now we're gonna take a wire brush to this. Um, clean it up. So shiny. There's the springs next to each other. Now we compress this one and put it back on the strut. It's pretty funny. I was just parked here doing my business. Another Activan came and parked right next to me. <laughs> what are the odds? Anyways, yep, here's the spring. I don't know guys, I'm not a mechanic. Let me know in the comments if this is gonna be a huge concern. I could not get it to sit any flusher than that. That is all I could, that is what I could muster. No, it is 422, and I think we started around maybe 10. Um, we just got the driver's side done. <sighs> yeah, my back really hurts actually, like more than it's ever hurt working on the truck before. So this project is back breaking stuff.
something is scurrying in those woods up there. I don't know what that was. Oh, shit, did you guys see it? Oh, what, what was that? Dude, what is that? It's like a boar. Holy shit. That was crazy. You can use your knee, prop it up, and then these will poke through more and you can secure the nets. You just tighten these. Okay, looks good. So, there it is, guys. Okay, guys, if you made it this far into the video, uh, well, you're at the end. So, thanks for sticking with me. It was a long day, a long journey, but yeah. If you guys enjoyed this video, thanks so much, and um, see you in the next one.